welcome back to our channel. I am Ina Holwood, and today we are going to take a look at the technical perspective of the crypto markets. Where is this market going? That's the question I get asked the most. So today I am going to give you a long and short-term vision of what might possibly happen with the prices of some altcoins, but most importantly with Bitcoin and the total market cap. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more beyond just this video. Today I'm going to show you some long-term indicators first. And then I'm going to give you a small insight of what the financial situation in this world is, because that will be important for our technical analysis later on. First of the total market cap, Bitcoin, and of course, some of my favorite altcoins. So let's dig in. Okay, guys, so let's look at this first. I took this chart with me because it's so important for the long-term vision. And this is not only a chart who is accurate in cryptocurrency, but it's also a chart who's accurate in other financial products, okay? So what do we have here is the psychology of a market cycle, and it's called the Wall Street cheat sheet, as you can see underneath here. So this cheat sheet is, um, is explaining us how our emotions go together with the market and how the market is flowing into cycles. So first of all, we see this hope, uh, disbelief and hope, optimism, belief, thrill, and euphoria. Okay, we all know that, we all have seen it, we all see the crypto pumps, and we were all very excited. So the euphoria is always the point where people think, here is a moment where we go all the way. And then the market breaks, there's come some complexity, some anxiety, denial, panic. And then we have this long range of nothing. Okay, and that is a very important part of the market. When the market is consolidating, it is preparing for another move. Okay, and as you see, like the disbelief here was lower than the disbelief here. So this is actually a rising trend, just like we see with cryptocurrency. So it is so important to know that the, this chart exists and to know that all these emotions exist in the market. And always, whenever a market wants to pump, it's going to consolidate first. So this consolidation, we might interpret it in, us, in our head. We might um, remember this <clears throat> for later because this is going to be so important. Okay, then look at another long-term indicator, and that is the Bitcoin rainbow chart, something I really love to watch because it's a parable. Um, it, it's all there. So these lines, it's like a rainbow, right? And these lines uh, indicate whether or not it's a good time to buy cryptocurrency or not. And this is especially for Bitcoin. So what we see here is that we are in the accumulation phase, and that's like the... Uh, in between green. Uh, we also have two zones underneath here. And if we put to should take the, the lowest point possible, that should give us a 20.658k. So 20k, that should be like the fire sale. If the market would ever go to 20k, please buy this market because that's gonna be the lowest point for sure. And then we have the total um or, or the the bubble territory where, where the price should go very, very high. And if the price would hit this red zone, we should be around 250K. So that's a huge difference between 20 and 250K. So, but you might understand that these markets are very volatile, that these markets hold a lot of capacity still. They can, crypto can grow so much over a small, small period of time because the market cap of cryptocurrency is still very small. So the question I get asked also is, am I still early enough to buy? And the answer to that is yes, if you wait to at the right time and if just patience to buy, then it's absolute, absolutely a great market to buy. So let's look at the volatility. So a lot of people may have heard that cryptocurrency is a very volatile market. That means that there's a lot of volume coming in and coming out. And these spikes that we see or these huge percentages that we see come from the volatility and the small market cap. So whenever 
1 million dollars is going into the crypto markets it is recognizable it's seeable because the market cap is very very low and we're going to look at that a little bit later but this chart is explaining how the volatility is working on the chart so right here the yellow line is the chart of bitcoin and we see that the yellow line crossed uh, 11 september 2020 the yellow line crossed um, to over the green line. So that's a very important thing. That means that the chart is higher than the volatility in the market. Watch out. This might change um, if the volatility gets bigger. This green line might shift over the, the yellow line again. So it's going to be very important to keep a close eye on that. And with no further ado, I'm going to take you to the chart of Bitcoin to see what is possible. Okay, so we are on a weekly perspective. And that's where I would love to start with you guys. That's what I also do. It's starting at a weekly perspective. And I'm just going to remove this Fibonacci sequence in order to make it clean and clear. So that's what I do is I go to the weekly charts every week and I see, okay, what happened? What do we see? Because the long-term perspective is the most important perspective, Okay. You don't want to go on the Bitcoin chart, 15 minute chart, and just go watch that all day. It's very important to zoom out, to have a bigger perspective, to have a long term perspective of what these markets might do. So, what is it that we see? We see that we had like a great support in, after the run in May, uh, around from June to July, uh, we were in a range. So, this consolidation, and it's also the thing we saw here in the rainbow chart. So we saw that this consolidation, if you put it on daily, it's more accurate towards the rainbow charts. Look at this. It's very beautiful. You see the rainbow charts, uh, sorry, the Wall Street cheat sheets. You can see this pump, euphoria, fall down, depression, this little, little dip here, disbelief, and another rally. And that's what we exactly what we saw here in after May. So for me, that's a, that's a very, very good um, confirmation that the market is doing its thing and that we're still not done. So what do we see here? It's like exactly the same thing as we saw in the cheat sheet. So we have this consolidation here and we might take a closer look to the consolidation because it is very, very excited to be in the markets right now. So in, within this consolidation, there's some things we can um, we can see. First of all, we made this dip to the 25k. Okay, so that's when I said to you guys, like, mm, I don't think this market's gonna hold. I think we're going to climb. And the 32k is a very important resistance because whenever this market comes there, it seems to like reject this zone. Okay, but right now we cannot really say what the market is about to do. What we can do is draw patterns on here so we see what the market is intending to do. This is all consolidation. And guys, I told you before, for the people who are new, don't trade in a consolidation. Wait for the breakout and watch the zones. It's going to be so important. So for us, the zone of 32K is very important. Whenever these candles reach 32 and test it as a support, then we should go to the 36. That's what I think, of course. It's no financial advice. It's just what I think. Why do I think that? Is because the market made a very nice trend here, like this, and then it broke this trend without retesting it, okay? So I think it's very important whenever a market breaks that is, does the retest because 99% of the time a market will always retest, especially on a long-term perspective. So the retest is actually making from the from the floor, making a ceiling. So the ceiling is make sure that the ceiling is solid. So this is a very solid ceiling and it hasn't been tested yet. So I think also like in the last video on YouTube, I told you guys the same thing. I think we might retest the 36K. This is not going to be an as long video as the previous one because I don't think the market has done much since then. But I just want to um, tell you guys, take it easy, be calm, because these things can happen. Okay, first of all, what can happen is we reach the 32K again. We reject it as a resistance. 
and we go down again. That's possible. But I don't think that will happen. What I think will happen, and this, of course, is personal, is that we will break through the 32, reach 36 in order to retest. And then it's going to be very exciting. So I want you guys to be ready. Some guys didn't, or some people didn't cash out the amount they really wanted. So this is your chance to cash out some of your profits that you have already made, which is very, very important is that you work with zones and targets. So you don't have to watch these markets all the time. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Binance, do a spot trade and put some orders in in order to sell your coins with, of course, gains. Never sell with losses. If you bought way too high, you're probably new in this market and you're going to have to wait this one out. For the people who bought lower, this might be the last chance to sell. This is, of course, no um, promise. Because whenever the market goes over 38 or 36 and we cross this resistance, then I think the resistance will be broken and tested as a support. Whenever the resistance becomes a support, that means that we are in a, in a solid uptrend again and that we can see new heights. So three possibilities, 32, 36 or 36 over and beyond. So that's what we have to see in these markets. And I'm just very excited because if you look at a daily perspective, yesterday, like two days ago, we had a pump. And then yesterday went all the way down. I was like, no, this is going the wrong way. But then we pulled up, like, if you see this candle here, it means that we dropped 100%. And from the 100% that we dropped, 95% got uh, already like um, bullish again. So from the 100% that we went bearish, we only went like 5% digitally. So that's a very, very bullish sign. I'm just looking how this chart is going to close today because it's quite an exciting time. Um, but this chart only closes in like six hours and 51 minutes, so seven hours. Um, so you might... Uh, watch it so you don't take uh, easy or, or quick decisions. Just relax, take it easy, don't take quick decisions, just see what the market is doing. And for me, it's going to be important that we break out towards the 32K, okay? It's going to be so, so, so important. So let's take a look at the Bitcoin dominance because that's also very important. And I marked this zone of like around... 48% a long time ago because you saw that this was like a huge, huge resistance. So this is the resistance zone of the Bitcoin dominance. And what you can see is that he had like a trend line or he made a trend line and he never retested that trend line. So it's going to be very important, I think, whenever the Bitcoin dominance will drop again, I think it will drop a huge amount. Um, percentage between 8 and 10% it will drop again. Um, yeah, the Bitcoin dominance is just such an important chart too to look at because whenever Bitcoin becomes strong, you know, it's the Bitcoin season and the big altcoins will rise and have this momentum and the other altcoins will stay a little bit lower. Whenever the Bitcoin dominance turns around and drops a bit, that's where you can see the altcoin season starting. So altcoins will start gaining some more volume because it's not all going to bitcoin but what people love to do is like when bitcoin rises a lot people take out their bitcoin and pull it put it in altcoins and that's what's happening a lot so when people have a lot of gains with like big altcoins they move it to the to the lower cap ones and then these one pumps so this is a very good indicator to see whether or not it's good to buy bitcoin or it's good to buy altcoins okay Let's look at the total market cap. And I'm also going to do this on a weekly perspective just to start off. And then let's see where this chart is heading. Then we can zoom in a little bit. But first of all, look at this uh, retest. So it retested in May very nicely, three times on the zone of 1.15 trillion. And right now we are in the exact same space. So. Not like Bitcoin or unlike Bitcoin, the total market cap kept a support of 1.15 and it is resting there. So it's taking a little bit of a break, taking a little bit of time to in order to 
rise again. So this downtrend needs to be broken, eh, guys. Don't make any illusions. Don't do anything stupid. First of all, we got to see a rise, break, retest, and further moving further. So this is going to be so, so important. So don't make any illusions. What we can do or what the market can possible do is go until the trend line here. This resistance will be so important. The 1.5 guys, so important. And then go maybe deeper. So that's also an option. So keep your mind open. Nothing is solid. Nothing is written down. Anything could happen. Just dollar cost average. Dollar cost averaging is so important because whenever you want to buy, you don't buy everything at once. You divide your total capital in like five parts and then you buy like little bit by little bit. You buy in and you take your time because these markets might seem quick, might seem very volatile, but the bottoms is always a waiting time. So make sure you're patient whenever you want to invest, that you're relaxed, and then you can take the most out of the market. So don't forget to spread your capital and to DCA the shit out of your capital. So, so important. Um, okay, so let's look at one of my favorite altcoins, and it is like um, Ethereum. So with Ethereum, we see quite the same thing. It's like we have these, sorry, uh, it's like we have these zones here, and these zones are so important because this was a bottom, and then at right exact, exact at the same price, the 1800, we have this support still counting. So it's very important that we stay above um, the support. This looks like a consolidation. It's, it looks like the market is about to turn around because the market is hesitating and it, it wants to go deeper, but it can't because it went already like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten weeks in a row that we went red. So it's going to be very important for the market to catch a little bit of red before we go deeper, if we go deeper. Okay. So what can my what might possibly happen is that this chart is turning around and going towards his trend line, okay? Whether or not it's going to break out is it's going to see then because you cannot know now. But what might happen is it cracks, retests, and it goes higher or it tests, isn't able to break through and goes deeper, okay? So that's something that might possibly happen. And those are the two things that might possibly happen. I know it's always the story of up, down, or sideways, but I can bet 90% now uh, for sure that this market is about to rise because we didn't see a retest. We had 10 uh, red weeks, so it's been very bloody in the markets. And even though, like, if you, if you look at, like, the bull run here, so if you look at the bull run in 2018, then we saw that the market broke and was very bearish. But even though it made like five red candles in a row, still it had to go a little bit up before it went down more. So and it's always the same story. So that's what we might possibly see right here is consolidation and then the testing of the lines that were not tested before. So very, very important. So now I'm going to show you some altcoins that I really like, um, why I like them and why I should buy them at the prices I did. So what I did is I bought a little bit of Chainlink and I actually bought it right. So I bought it right at the support with an order. Um, make sure, guys, you work with orders because these orders can give you discount and like best prices. Nobody wants to be in loss for days or weeks or months. So make sure you work with zones and orders to maintain the lowest price. So what I did, I put an order on support and what I have right now is already 58% gain. So that's just beautiful, right? So what we see now is like, this was a perfect resistance. You see it here, like resistance, resistance. And right now we tested it as support. So I actually don't see Chainlink going deeper. I see Chainlink going at least until 10.7. If you just like me bought Chainlink way lower than that, I know some people who bought it at two. Me, myself, I bought it at 0 0.7. So for me, this is like 
already loads of gains, but you can put an order at 10.7 just to sell a little bit of your um, chain link if you don't want to get like pulled down the drain. But I don't think the markets uh, are done running yet. I think we still have this run to go. There's a lot of institutional money going in. I'm going to talk about that later. Banks are investing. Huge hedge, hedge funds are investing. Big people are investing. So this money has to go in sometime, somewhere. And I'm just thinking about the emotions because what people do is like, you have so many emotions in this market and it's 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 going on everything through each other, so many emotions. And what people think is, oh, it's so low, it will go lower. But this is what they do. They play out the lowest game. They make you scared in order to for them to buy as low as possible because they're not investing with euros like we do, just small bits. They're investing with millions, maybe even trillions. So the market cap is at 1.15 trillion. That's nothing. Some people have that in the back of their pockets. So just make sure you know, like this, this crypto market is still very young, still very volatile. Why is because... The, the volume in these markets is still very low. So it's going to be very important to pay attention to the on-chain analysis. And next time I'm going to make a video about that. So that's also going to be very, very exciting to do. But also there is like Cardano. Um, what I've been seeing, and it's pretty intense, but what I've been seeing is this downtrend here. So it's been tested quite a while. And um, like a lot of times it's been tested and it broke right here. If you see, it broke right here. And then we had this very, very, very deep retest, but it's still above the strand line. If you see the strand line got respected. So I bought it right at the support again. So I love to use my supports. I bought it right at the support. I was very, very lucky to get this one. And whenever we bought at the support, we could see that I already made 63%. So that's how to play with these markets. Seek for the bottom people, put orders, make sure you have those orders and make sure you try to buy at the lowest price. Even though your order doesn't hit, that doesn't matter. The fact that you're trying, that you have your orders, that's the most important thing. What I see with uh, Cardano is that we might rise up again because this is a bullish sign it still looks very bearish but it is a bullish sign this is on weekly base if you look on daily base we have some uh we took some breaths but this is still a consolidation so we're still going sideways a little bit so i'm still waiting uh, for the price to hit this resistance around one dollar and then we can re-evaluate what to do with this project okay um what more what more what more t fuel is a very very important investment i think and it's just very personal it's at six cents so it's very cheap to buy and we see this consolidation consolidation too if we put on the bulging bands then we will see it is squeezing and we might take a chance to go up here this is, of course, no promise, but I think that T Fuel is just a major, major, major investment opportunity. If you take it from today and you invest today, right here, and then we go high as high as the highest point. That's almost a thousand percent. It's 10x, guys. It's a no-brainer, especially if you know what T Fuel is doing, what Tita Teta is doing. It's a very solid project. It's a very good project. And you should look to, yeah, you should just look right now to buy because if you're not buying right now and you're still not in cryptocurrency, but you're looking at it, then I'm wondering like, what what do you want from the market? This is this is a very low. The market's just consolidating. It's not dropping that much anymore. It, it wants to drop, but it can't. So this is your sign to buy. I don't want to give financial advice, but this is just a very nice opportunity. Uh, two more altcoins, and then uh, we're going to uh, look at the DXY. So with the same thing here, we had uh, a very nice support with VeChain. It is wicking to the underside, so it's making wicks. And you can see here that it was a very nice resistance. And now we are at support, so it's a great time to buy, guys. I don't like this. This is just a great opportunity. It's four cents just four cents and if it will reach the previous all-time high 
then we will get also a thousand percent out of it. So these are great opportunities. These are opportunities you could don't get in like a stock market or uh, other markets. So it is very important to um, to know that these are probably the best prices you will get. Yeah. Last coin I want to talk about is Teda. Teda is one of my favorites. And you can also see that it broke like his downtrend and it is just leaning towards this um, this downtrend. It is leaning towards its support. I have, I still have an order there, but I don't know if that's going to hit because it's like 56 cents. It is very hopeful. But now at 1.3, it's just a great, great, great time to buy data. And if it goes, just imagine it goes to its all-time high, then you have a thousand hundred eighty-three percent. So that's a very, very good opportunity to get in this market. As last, I want to talk about the DXY because the DXY is the dollar index and it is um, correlated with the crypto market. So how does this work? Whenever the DXY, so the dollar index, it's getting stronger, that means they're printing money, they're manipulating the system. As we know, for the people who don't know, do some research about quantitative easing. It's happening right now and it's the reason why there's so much inflation, but I don't wanna talk about this right now. I wanna talk about the different correlation of this market. And what we see is that we tipped at 1.4, 104 and that we are now at 102 and it is a very 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 likely that this market will drop a little bit more because the DXY has been overvalued a lot the dollar is standing super strong and in the meanwhile in the facts and the reality the dollar is getting weaker and weaker so somewhere in between this has to play out I hope you guys um, are relaxed as relaxed as me I try to enjoy life as the most as possible and um, try to take a look at the long-term perspective. As you guys saw, I didn't zoom in a lot. It's just because I want to give you guys the long-term perspective because crypto is a long-term perspective. You cannot always see it as a very, very short-term thing. Okay, you can play at it short term and you, you're always welcome to take a look at our trading programs within InfraCrypt. We teach people how to trade. We have our own methods. It's nice to trade, but 90% of your investments are your holdings and having the right cryptocurrency. So please, people, be aware, be awake, make sure you're there, make sure you are consistent, make sure you buy low and hold it safely on a ledger or a trezor, and then you're all good to go. You're always welcome to ask me questions. Here, I'm gonna pop my um, uh, Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. You can ask me questions there. And if you have questions, you can also mail me. This is ina at infocrypt.com. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for listening and see you next time. Bye.